Hi everybody, it's Friday. I'm on my way back from uh, West Virginia, back to Kentucky. I just crossed in Kentucky. This is the uh, Big Sandy subdivision of the CNO, which you know now CSX now. Basically, I'm looking south. It runs down uh, to the south the eastern corner of Kentucky and it connects with the uh, ex Clinchfield. Um, at Elkhorn City. But the uh, reason why I stopped here, just you know, stretch my legs for a minute, but also I wanted to uh, sort of film the intro for my, uh, what I did. So Wednesday when I was in Nitro, I actually did see a train uh, on the Kanawha River Railroad. And uh, so I'll put that on here. And then the train that I saw yesterday in uh, Barbersville, I'll put that on here. So I'll just put two of them together on here. It won't be a super long video. I do want to say in the intro um, that there's a little gap in the Kanawha River Railroad train um, because they stopped on the crossing. And the reason why was they had a brake sticking. So at that point, I shut the camera off. Um, what I found just from watching other people's videos and things that Railroad employees are generally pretty friendly and they don't mind you filming the trains But they don't really like it when uh, they're down on the ground uh, doing stuff Trying to problem-solve and you're filming them. So I just shut the camera off and didn't even look at them. I had my back to them Yeah, it might have been interesting to see them up there climbing on the stuff trying to fix that break but out of respect to them and their uh, privacy and their jobs and everything I just turned the camera off and uh, when it was all over the you know I did talk to the brakeman for a minute confirmed that they had a brake sticking but uh, I just I wouldn't want someone coming in my office and filming me <laughs> and so I just uh, figured they didn't wouldn't really appreciate be, being filmed I've seen some videos where some of the employees got pretty upset and they're trying to do their jobs and uh, somebody with a cell phone is filming them. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll probably uh, when I get home I'll probably film the exit for this at home. I'll always show you something on the Garden Railroad. Coming okay, Nitro. It's about 5.30. Just a gray old day. You can sort of see the headlight the locomotive reflecting off of the cars down there. So when I first got here he was coupled onto this train. There's a Fred on the other end of it flashing, so I thought he was waiting to go north. But obviously, he stopped either pick up or set off. He uh, uncoupled and ran through this crossover up here. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, see what, uh, see what he does. There's actually a couple engines down there one with the lights and there's one beside it you may not be able to see that also is sitting there and they were coupled together unless that engine was there separately so I don't know it's worthwhile hanging out to see because you don't see this railroad very often okay I think he's done switching crossing gate should come down just a second uh, again he'll be pulling uh, north up through the crossover and back onto the train I think they'll work. <laughs> Maybe not.
Well, they had trouble with the stick and brake. Well, Tied right. at the crossing for a few minutes, finally got it freed up. Now he's going to back up and tie on to the rest of the train and head north. Brakeman, he said, uh, told me to be careful in the crossings because uh, they've already taken out one truck today. said they're going north, but I pretty much forfeited my chance to get ahead of them and get a photo when I didn't uh, move my car because I'm <laughs> on the wrong side of the crossing and I'll never catch them once they get going. So yeah, this old Norfolk Southern ST60. I got a bunch of them.
everybody. I'm in Barber, Barbersville, uh, West Virginia, and I gave you some bad information earlier. Uh, Barbersville is where the line to Logan, West Virginia takes off, big coal branch. Where I was at in St. Albans, there's another coal branch there, and that's where that tunnel was, St. Albans Tunnel, that uh, goes to, I guess, Danville, West Virginia. I don't know which line is busier. Uh, but I thought, well, Barbersville is not that far away. I'm at exit 20 off the interstate, and my hotel's at off exit 39, so you know, not that far away. I'm just east of Huntington. Uh, so this is the west leg of the Y right here. The main line is sort of on the other side of it, and you can't see the east leg of the Y. But you can see they've got some uh, got a crane here, and I would say that crane is for unloading bridge. Uh, stuff and rail and everything because you can see there's a lot of bridge material here some big uh, some heavy duty stuff here in Barbersville I'm not going to go on railroad property I try to stay right here and film um, because there are people working here and uh, probably 24 hours a day hopefully we'll see a train here so someone asked me if I had a scanner I've got this Baofeng BF F8HP, which is technically a two way radio. And since I don't have a license, it's technically illegal, I believe, for me to have it. What I did was I super glued the button so I cannot transmit. Whether I could talk my way out of getting it confiscated or getting me a ticket, I don't know, but I figured it wouldn't hurt. And that way I don't accidentally key it also. Uh, it's pretty cheap. I did replace it with a better antenna. Uh, I don't think it's that great. I'm probably going to get a better scanner, sort of like the one that Ron's Trains and Things talked about. But the big thing, the big, big thing that, that if you ever watch Distance Signal is to get an external antenna. I'm going to get a magnetic antenna that I can attach on my vehicle, uh, my pool cars, whatever, you know, when I'm uh, uh, out. And they said that really, really helps because if I've got this thing in the car and I'm driving around, uh, I just hear static most of the time. You know, don't get much range. But I'm going to try it out here and see if I uh, see anything here in Barberville tonight. So the scanner went off. You got a westbound with 312 axles. That's a good sized train. Uh, he was calling the signal for sulfur first. So not only is the scanner helpful, an employee timetable might be helpful too, because I have no idea where sulfur is. If I hadn't heard the horn, <laughs> I wouldn't know if he's coming up the uh, branch line or on the main line. But he's coming up the main line, getting pretty close.
went ahead and filmed the whole train. It was only about a couple minutes. Like I said they had 312 axles on the defect detector. So take away the engines, that's you know, like 75 cars or whatever. So finally got to see a CSX train after being here all week. So this is going to wrap up my West Virginia trip. Uh, share a couple things with you real quick. Um, picked up a souvenir there. CSX has replaced all their signals uh, with those ones that like, I guess they have shrouds or hoods or whatever you want to call on them. Uh, I think it uh, reduces confusion where an engineer might um, you know, know what track it's for. Probably also helps it uh, like if it's in the sun or something like that, maybe it makes it more visible. Uh, so this was laying in the weeds at the St. Albans Y. Uh, that was the only piece left, so I thought, well, it'll look good hanging on the fence with my other <laughs> railroad souvenirs, like that uh, barcode and my whistle sign and that. So I was hanging up somewhere on the fence. The other thing is my wife said we had a really heavy rain and I had a landslide on the Garden Railroad, <laughs> so uh, I think the tree is going to be okay. Luckily, it pushed the building off the foundation that's just sitting there anyhow. Didn't uh, hurt it, it looks like. So, got a little bit of repair work to do before, uh, before I can run trains on the upper loop, and actually on the bottom loop too. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed my West Virginia trip. I'm not going to be uh, traveling anywhere again, I think, until November. Uh, but uh, keep you posted on what I'm doing in the train room. Everybody stay safe.